Okay, Jed, I'd like you to assume that we've never met before. Right. My usual instructor's away on holiday at the moment, so okay. you're, you've stepped in because the car is identical and I'm familiar with the controls. Right. And I've had quite a few lessons up to now. Okay. Today I'd like you to teach me on reversing around a corner. This may be to the left or the right, it depends on what corners are available to us. Okay. And I'd like you to assume that I'm at the partly trained stage. Right, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to direct us to a suitable area and you just need to repeat the directions back to me as you would do normally. Right, okay. You can call me Claire for this stage. Right. Are there any questions that you've got before we start? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, whenever you're ready then, Jed. Okay. Afternoon, Claire. Nice to meet you. Yeah, um, you I'm too. I'm Jed. I'm going to be taking you for your lesson today. Hi, Jed. Um, I'm afraid your regular instructor's away on holiday at the moment, yeah, no so, so I'll be taking you for this lesson, but I believe I've got the same car as your last instructor. Yes, anyway. you have, yes. Okay, great. So you're familiar with all the controls and the layout and everything. Yeah. So today I've been asked to run through reversing with you, mm -hmm. either to the left or the right. Okay. Have you ever done any reversing before? We did do some last lesson, just straight though. Just right, okay. Straight. So you've not reversed it into a, into a junction or into a parking no. bay or anything like no. that? No. Okay. And have you done any other reverse manoeuvres, like the turning the road exercise or anything? No, no, just that bit of okay. straight reversing. Okay, and how did that go when you were doing some straight reversing? All right, I think. Okay, did you yeah. master it in the end? Um. I think so. Okay. I think so. So tell me about how you controlled the speed of the car when you were reversing then. Oh, I did that with the clutch. Okay, so what specifically did you do with the clutch? Um, you had to bring it up a bit to go. Yep. Um, and then I said put it down to slow. Okay. And I used my brake as well. Okay. And how much did you bring it up and down above and below the biting point just to keep it going oh, on, slow? Only a little bit. Right, okay. Yeah, because if it brought up too, too much it sped up a bit. Right, great, okay. And whilst you were reversing, where about, how were you sat in your seat, you know, when you're reversing in the straight line? Um, a bit of an angle really, because I had to look out the back window. Right, okay. All right. And why is it important that we look out the back window while we're reversing? Um, well, my other instructor said I've got to look where I'm going. Yep. Just like when I'm going forwards, really. Yep, exactly. Okay. So we're going to be using those skills that you did last week. Um, and also when you pull out of junctions, we're going to be using some of those skills as well, like steering as well and, and your clutch control that we've already talked about. So what we're going to do, we're going to drive to a suitable training area. Right. On the way there, I'm going to have a look at your driving, um, see if there's any little bits that I can help you with. Yeah. In particular, I'm going to be looking at how you use the steering wheel, what your observations are like, right, okay. and what your clutch control is like, because they're the three sort of key areas that are important for a successful reverse round the corner. Okay. All right. When we get to the training area, I'll use my visual aid and I'll run through a briefing with you so that you understand exactly what we're going to be doing. Okay. I'll talk you through it step by step. Mm -hmm. And by the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to select a safe, convenient, legal place to do the reversing manoeuvre. And you'll also be able to do it under control with good, effective all-round observations. Okay. All Great. right. Yeah. So have you got any questions about what we're going to do today? Um, no, I don't think so. Right, okay. So if you want to run through your cockpit drill then, right, we'll, okay. we'll get off to the training area. Right. Okay, so what are you looking for when you're setting the mirrors up? Um, I need to frame the back window with that one. Okay. Those are all right. Okay, and can you see through the through the interior mirror without having to move your head too much? To... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So everything's okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So there's the key. Thank you. Shall I start up? Yeah. Ask me to move away and take the next road on the left. Okay. All right, Claire. So when you're ready, uh, I'd like you to move away now. Just just before we do that. We've got our vehicle parts in front of us here, haven't we? Yeah. So have you ever done an angle start before, you know, where you've had to move away from behind? Yeah, when I've moved away from my car that's parked in front, yeah, I've done Okay. I've done so what times. skills are necessary in order to do that successfully, do you think? Well, you have to get a lot of steering on, don't you? Yeah, so we're going to be brisk steering. Yeah. And what about the clutch control? Oh, well, um, keep that quite slow. Yeah, so nice and steady with your clutch. you feel comfortable doing that without my help? Um, yeah, I'll give it a go. Okay. Yeah. 
just before you move away, what what's our what other observations do we need to make? You check your mirrors really well, you centre in the right mirror, but yeah. what other mirrors would we need oh, to I need, check? I need to check that one and my blind spots as well. And your blind so. spots, yeah. yeah. And where's the final blind spot check? Um, on my right shoulder. Great, right, okay. I need to let this lady out first. Yeah, very wise. Road on the left, just dip that clutch a little bit, that's it. So as we're moving away there, and as you're steering the wheel now, we to make sure that you're using bigger movements with the wheel. Because oh, if yeah. we are going to be reversing into a sharp junction, then you'll need to make sure that you can get that wheel round briskly. Okay, follow the road. So at this junction, we're going to follow the road ahead. Now, as we're moving away this time, let's bring that clutch up nice and smoothly. Yeah. Okay. Only a member, only a pound coin above the clutch. Do you think we'll need the handbrake here as well? Um, yeah, I think it might roll back a Good bit. Idea, yeah. So remember, only a pound coin above the above the biting point. There. That's it. And then once you've got past that point, then you can stop it. Okay. Oh, okay. So at the end of the road, we'll turn left. we're going to turn left. So how are we going to steer this time and what are we going to do with the clutch as we're moving away? Um, steer quick because it's quite sharp. Yeah. Now try and use bigger turns of the wheel. Oh though. right, yeah. yeah. So if you can, I mean it's not comfortable for summer, try and get your hands meeting at top and bottom. Right, you know, okay. So that you can get more, more steering on rather than taking little small bites of the wheel. Okay. Okay, what do you think of your biting point there? Just dip it down a fraction, that's it. Don't have it too high. Oh, it's much better with the steering, well done. Yeah, is that better? It, it is like much better, yeah. So at the mini roundabout, I'd like you to turn left. Okay. So I'll leave you with the steering and clubs this time, see so if you can master it yourself. Keep going there. Well done. On the left at a suitable place. And if you pull up on the left in a suitable place, where do you think suitable along um, this road? Here, I think. Yeah. So why have you chosen this particular spot then? Um, well, so that I'm not double parked. Yeah. Um, I'm not too close to that junction. Yeah. There is an entrance there, but it's grassed over, so I don't think it's used. No, that's right. It's all padlocked up as well, yeah. really, isn't it? So how confident are you about the place that we've chosen to start then? Yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah. All right then. So if you want to uh, to switch off. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be using this next road on the left to reverse into. Okay. So we've chosen somewhere that's safe, legal and convenient. All right. right yeah. before, in fact, before we go into that, let's just talk, have a chat about the drive on the way here. Was there any questions that you've got about what kind of things went on on the way here? Um, no, I don't think, don't think so. Okay. So moving away, what observations have we oh, need to Oh, I need make? to look all the way around. Yeah. And our final check is where? Over my right that's shoulder. It. They did check again after we'd waited a while, which was great. So well done right, for that. Okay, yeah. As we were moving away as well, you observed the lady on the left with the dogs, didn't you? Yeah. And you waited till she crossed, which was great. Yeah. The second thing um, that we had is uh, that angle start. It was quite good, wasn't it? You got out yeah. okay, but how could yeah. it have been better, do you think? Um, maybe kept it a bit slower, so I could have steered better. Yeah, and how mm. are we going to keep it slower? What? what um, put my clutch down a bit. Yeah, and then in relation to the steering, what could we do differently if you're doing an angle start oh, next time to make it easier? Bigger chunks, like, yeah. like I did at that other junction. Great, mm -hmm. so you can see the benefit of that. Great, okay. So let's just go back to what we're saying about the left reverse then. So this is the corner that we're going to be using. Okay. Tell me about the corner that we're going to be reversing into. What do you notice about it? Um, I can't see into it very well. Okay, so it's a closed junction then, isn't it? Yeah. Have you come across that terminology before, open and close? Yeah, when I've been doing my T-junctions, okay. they're open and closed. So where will we need to look as we're driving past that junction to make sure that it's safe to reverse into? Do you think? We'll have to look in it, Yeah, because we can't see from here, can we, if it's if it's yeah. clear or not? Yeah. All right. Okay. Is it a sharp corner, would you say, or would you say it's a nice, big, long, round corner? I don't know. Okay. It's quite difficult to tell from here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah Would you say that the road we're going into is narrow or wide? It looks fairly wide because there's a big gap in between the houses. Yeah, okay. 
Good. So we're observing all those things before we get to a junction. They're important considerations we need to okay. have when we're reversing. Yeah. Okay. If it was a very, very narrow road or more closed, then we just need to take, be it, go an extra slow as we're coming up to it and to have right. a good look in. Yep. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go through my visual aid just to explain what we're going to do. So as I was saying, we need to choose a location which is safe, legal and convenient. Okay. Yep. Now, in terms of safety, we've already discussed about the road that we're going into, that it's not too narrow and we can't see any parts cars or any obstructions that will prevent us from doing it safely. This road is also quite wide as well isn't it? And we haven't yeah. got any parked cars opposite the junction that we're going to be reversing into. What do you notice on the right hand side just past the junction? What's opposite where we're going to be pulling up? It looks like um, an entrance to that building. Okay so we're going to need to bear that in mind aren't we? It doesn't make it unsafe but it, it does increase the dangers doesn't it so we're going to need to make sure we have particularly good observations. If that was a road then it probably wouldn't be safe or convenient to do the manoeuvre there because you're going to get lots of people coming in and out as it turns out that with that just being a small car park um, right. it's unlikely we're going to have a lot of traffic flowing in and out of there. Right okay. All right. Um, in terms of safety as well it would be unsafe to drive into a road and then reverse out again. Right, Can you understand okay. the dangers of that? So if we were to, for example, drive in there and then back out. Alright, I've seen people do that. Yeah, okay. And what could be the dangers of doing that? I suppose you're reversing out into the traffic, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, reversing out into traffic right. flow. So what we need to be doing is reversing into the side road. Why would we do this manoeuvre anyway? What would be the purpose of it? We have to do it for your test, don't you? You do? Yeah, very, very true. In real life, so once you've passed your test, what occasions might you need to do this exercise, do you think? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's say, for example, you've gone the wrong way and you wanted to turn oh, around and so go back. I, so right, so if I wanted to turn round. Yeah. So right. there's, well, there's lots of manoeuvres that we'll cover which enable you to turn around. This is just one of them. Right, okay. All right. Yeah. So we're going to pull up in our um, stop position just after the junction. Okay, now looking at the junction that we've got up ahead of us, you can see the railings on the left hand side. Yeah. We're going to probably pull up with the front of the car level with those railings, the start of those railings. Right. And we want to be about a grid's width from the curb when we're starting this. So we don't right. want to get too close and we don't want to be too far away. Because okay. we don't want to be striking the curb or interfering with traffic that might be travelling along the main road. Right, okay. Once we stop, we're going to select reverse gear and I'm going to help you with find a reference point out the rear window just to enable you to reverse in a straight line All fairly right. easily. Yeah. We're then going to reverse back to what we call our point of turn. Now that's the point at which the back of our car, or the back wheel of our car, becomes level with the first curved curb stone. Can you see that on the picture there? Yeah. Yeah. At that point, that's the earliest point really we're going to start putting our steering on to the left. If we do it any earlier than that, we'll strike the curb. If we do it any later than that, then we're going to go wide and possibly okay. cross onto the opposite side of the road. Okay. Now observation is really important as we're going through this manoeuvre. We'll need good observations before we move away and particularly good observations at this point of turn because the front of our car is going to swing out to the right as we start to turn into the road. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now I'll guide you with that and we'll discuss it in more length when we're doing it. Yeah. Alright. We're going to apply as much steering as is necessary to get us around this corner. Now this one here as you say it's quite difficult to tell and I'm not really sure at this stage how sharp that corner is so we'll have a look as we're going past it. Okay. So we'll put as much steering on as is necessary and then we'll straighten up in the new road and reverse back about three to four car lengths, so about that far. Right. Can you think of the benefits of reversing this far back in relation to other traffic rather than stopping, say, that close to the junction? Think about vehicles that could be coming down the road behind us. Not down this? Down this, this road. road here, yeah. Well, if we stopped at the end, they'd have to emerge on that side, wouldn't they? Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, so this enables get, them to... Yeah, they can get round us get there. Round. Great, mm. okay. So have you got any questions about what we're going to do there then? Um, I don't think so. What happens if someone comes to the end while I'm trying to reverse into it? Well, we need to make an assessment then as to whether it's safe to carry on. In certain situations you might find that the vehicle will go round you before you've had a chance to you okay. know, move forward. In some situations, like you say, if, if a car came up and stopped here and you're at this point, yeah, then there's not really any option for us here but to go back to the start and start all over again. Right. Okay. Okay. But I'll help you make an assessment of that when we when we do it. Right. 